everybody. Welcome to the other side of the tracks. You're with Lucinda and Michael today in our shed in northwestern Connecticut talking about the tracks on Songs from the Shed Volume 2. This one is called Until the Day I Die. And it started out as a piano and vocal ballad. And honestly, I thought that's the way we were going to record it. That um, it was just going to be one of those kind of effective power ballads, but just piano and vocal. Um, I was excited because I got to play piano on this, and I don't get to play piano very often, so it was fun for me. Um, the song started out in a very, very naked form. Came into the studio, laid down some piano and a vocal, and the next thing we knew, there was an explosion of production that happened with this. And at first, it was overwhelming because we were like, well, what's happening here? And layer upon layer started to um, unfold. You are tired and you can't sleep. I'll hold you all night long. If you are sad, I'll make you smile with a funny little song. started to run and we're so thrilled with the way it came out. Um, it started as a piano and vocal ballad and turned into a kind of 60s psychedelic a psychedelic treatment on it. Yeah. So why don't we um, yeah. start with the There's your little piano. If you are tired Beautiful. So the emotion started to build as we started to create. I'll give you all the stars. <laughs> and suddenly, layer after layer, the vocals started coming in. We'll count each one. <laughs> I love it. Who knew that that was going to happen? I didn't know that that was going to happen, did you? So then we brought in the rhythm. If you yeah. We used felt mallets on the drum kit. Kind it was like thunder. It was so cool. A little drone bass. A lot of room in this song, but then it gets, you know, I mean, it's a lot of room to fill up, really. Sometimes it works. Sometimes so the retro feel on all of this was to get that sound and still maintain and retain the emotion of the song because it was very emotional just with a vocal and a piano. And it but still it, is, and we can still play it that way anyway. Exactly. Really. And that's the point, is that even though we layered the song with all of these great harmonies, rhythm tracks, the drums, the whole thing, we can still go out and pare this down in a very, very naked form, whether we're playing it on acoustic guitar or still just doing a piano and a vocal, yeah. um, even with just percussion, because we use the felt mallets a lot even on the congas, and people who have come out to see us perform have seen us use the drums in a lot of different ways. So, um... Yeah. It'll always be, you know, that'll always be there. You right. Never take that away from Yeah. You. So as a really good point of reference, and I think we talked about this in previous weeks of On the Other Side of the Tracks, you take your music to great heights, but make sure that you can still perform it Sorry. in its original form. <laughs> 
You're too much. <laughs> So that is Until the Day I Die. We want to thank you for hanging out with us again this week on the other side of the tracks. See you next week. <laughs>